Hello, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI. Today, we're all going to die of stupidity. I got a tip yesterday from an anonymous US Army officer that the US government was about to break new ground in authoritarian dumbassery. The officer logged into his work computer and got a pop up. Quote, Gen AI. Mill. Victory belongs to those who embrace real innovation, not the antiquated systems of a bygone era. It's time to deliver efficient, decisive results for the war fighter. I want you to use AI. Unquote. Then you click on the close button and it plays a video from Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth, apparently sober, telling you how much AI is the future. The future of American warfare is here, and it's spelled AI. At the click of a button, AI models on Gen AI can be utilized to conduct deep research, format documents, and even analyze video or imagery at unprecedented speed. The pop-up also had a link to genai.mil slash launch, which didn't work. I tried going to genai.mil yesterday and I got an error message. They now have a nice splash page asking for your login. The logo, like all chatbot logos, looks like a butthole. The stylized text font looks somewhere between the 70s NASA worm logo and the Starship Troopers movie font. Hegseth is the guy who saw Starship Troopers and he didn't realize it was a satire of guys like him. The actual chatbot is an instance of Google Gemini, running on a secured cloud with restricted access for unclassified work. The press release is titled, The War Department Unleashes AI on the new Genai.mil platform, and has a lot of Hegseth style of macho military kill speak. Quote, Gemini for government is the embodiment of American AI excellence, placing unmatched analytical and creative power directly into the hands of the world's most dominant fighting force. Their achievement directly embodies the department's core tenets of reviving the warrior ethos, rebuilding American military capabilities, and re establishing deterrence through technological dominance and uncompromising grit. Unquote. Google's press release was a bit less bombastic and a bit longer on specific claimed uses. Quote, Summarizing policy handbooks, generating project-specific compliance checklists, extracting key terms from statements of work, and creating detailed risk assessments for operational planning. Unquote. So there's one teeny problem that you or I might spot immediately. Chatbots are most famous for making stuff up. They don't summarize text, they shorten it. Chatbots miss important details, especially anything unusual, and they reverse meanings. That's tolerable precisely as long as the quality doesn't matter. If you're absolutely sure no one will ever read this document, it's just the thing. But this is the military, and it's not like details matter or lives are on the line. If you're out in the field and you get sent a sheet of instructions that are completely detached from reality, you can take comfort that the important point is that the AI industry has finally hit the golden prize. The final stage of capitalism, a defense contract. If anyone goes to trial for, say, war crimes, they can just say the chatbot told me. They were just following orders. I hear that one works every time. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. I'm trying a shiny new old Fairphone 5 for today's recording, so we'll see how this comes out. All my thanks to the helpful Pivot fan the phone came from who's too modest to want credit. But thank you so much. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a nice podcast review, and remember, drop your $5 
enter the Patreon linked in the show notes below. It really helps. Thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow and bye for now.